Okay, guys, Logic Pro X is out. Logic Pro 10. I'm very excited about it. Um, the updates for me, they were okay. Um, the Slash Melodyne um, emulation is pretty cool because that way I don't have to really purchase Melodyne. I'm not putting it on par with Melodyne, but it, it that was something that was on my list. So maybe if I can work with it, maybe I don't have to buy Melodyne. That's cool. Um, uh, I do like the drummer thing. If they can add more types of drummers and stuff like that, and everything will be pretty cool. That might be really good. Um, another thing that's pretty cool about it is possibly the... Um, uh, I like the synth. I like the new synth. It's very, very warm. Um, the update was okay. Me personally, um, as I've been into sample libraries, I was looking for them to do something with Redmatica, but they didn't. And that leads me to this, this uh, video. Uh, Redmatica does not work on OS OS uh, 10.8, and Redmatica I use probably that almost every day. Redmatica Auto Sampler and KeyMap I use those almost every day. So I can't upgrade to 10.8, but I want to use Logic 10. Another disappointment in Logic 10 is that you can't use your 32-bit plugins anymore. So things like Silenth and uh, Vanguard um, haven't been updated. So I want to use Logic 10. But I don't want to upgrade to uh, I don't want to upgrade to, to 10.8 just yet because I still have some stuff that I want to use. So here is a neat trick on how to get Logic 10 uh, Logic Pro 10 to work on your OS 10.7. All right. So uh, if you know anything about Apple apps, they have bundles. So this app is like a bundle of a whole bunch of resources. So you right click or option click and uh, you're going to show package contents all right and you go into the contents and you have some pretty cool stuff right here and um, one of those is the info p list that's uh, that's that's something in which and here's the application itself oh impulse response huh they got that built in but um so this right here this well uh, this is kind of like the XML type file that that uh, the program uses to look in this info.plist and so all you have to do is double click now I have um, Xcode installed so you probably won't be able to do this so I go open with and then uh, go other and then uh, text editor so uh, applications uh, what was it yeah, actually, an easier way is just to drag it down to the text editor. Okay. Now, you see a bunch of stuff in here. It looks like XML, right? So you just do a find and then version. All right. And um, let me see. Uh, no, my bad. You just do a find. And then 10 point, all right, 10.7. Okay, all right, um, the reason why I couldn't find it is because I use something different because I have Xcode. But this is what you're looking for right now. You're looking for L L LS minimum system version, all right? L minimum system version. And you'll see that yours will say 10.8. You just go in here and change that to, uh, I changed it to 10.75. Um, it changed it automatically. I changed it to 10.70, actually. So I changed mine to 10.70, and it actually updated itself to 10.75. Either way, I would change this to 10.70, and you're done. And as you can see, right here, I'm able to open Logic Pro 10 in OS 10.7. All right, so this is, I am running OS 10.7 just to, Prove to you OS 10.7.5 and I'm run, running Logic 10 so I haven't had any issues um, be aware if you upgrade to the newest versions if you keep downloading the upgrades Apple always finds a way to stop the stuff so just be aware of that so for those of you who still like who are in the audio and you do realize that you can't keep upgrading operating systems when it comes to audio because you still got to work um, that's how you upgrade to uh, 10.7.5 all right <laughs>